Okay. Checking with his linesman and first in the attack at Newcastle West and it goes down to the car in the forward, the car in the forward is Tony O'Connor. Tony O'Connor, Mike Duty coming in, Duty is strong, Duty busting, half hook the first time, pulling the second time, driving down towards John McGrath, young Hopper McGrath, he's known, tries to side Dan O'Connor, the half hook, half back down to John Danaher, John Danaher trying to get it out, Danaher then to Lee Murphy, Danaher get hit again and Danaher great man to lead the situation down to the corner, down towards Catalan and Catalan to hefty challenge there, making an angle for himself, Catalan driving in towards Derry McMahon, but intercepting there is William Keane and Smog drives it half for Newcastle, it's taken a line ball from Monaghan. The game 43 seconds old. Both teams setting down. We could be in for a great encounter here as Mike Duty to take the line sideline cut. Duty, great man to cut the ball. Would he cut it down towards John Murphy waiting in the centre forward position? John Murphy waiting there with John Danner. Will the ball break between the two of them? Duty taking care and precision as he places in this line ball. Mike cut it low across to Eddie Brown, Eddie Brown driving it on the ground, then driving to the corner. Danaher read it, and John Danaher get it up again. Will he impose his will in this game? Half hook the first time in towards John Clavin, John Clavin coming down then to Shane Kelly, Shane Kelly driving into the centre. On to Tony O'Connor, Tony O'Connor batting for it, and then Derry McMahon calling for it. Well, back down to Alder Heaven, in comes John Clavin, and Clavin will drive this in. Driving a clever ball by Clavin, trying to find Brother Morris, but going down to Eddie Hogan. Eddie Hogan back in the corner with Neil Sheehy. Eddie Hogan going as the first score coming up from Monique. Eddie is a great man to get a point from an angle, and just over the inline and going very near the sideline. Dan O'Connor to retrieve it. Dan O'Connor has to there by John Hawk and Jed Hawk by John Hawk and still is Dan O'Connor coming on and drive it out to the centre to the centre field of an of Willie Hurley, Willie Hurley trying to make an angle for himself. Willie Hurley blocked the first time and gone out over the sideline. Very hard to see from this angle. It appears to be a morning gay line ball. Ball driven by Mike Doody down near the corner square, going very, very near the inline, trying to keep it in play and just going over for the first wide of the game. The scoreboard to all right reads, no score each, as we see Nock Fearn in the foreground and we see the beautiful ornamental design on top modern technology. Two minutes and 24 seconds gone. Ollie Mackay will drive towards this side of the field. Good ball by Ollie Mackay. Down towards the centre. Trying to Morris Holly going for it. Morris Holly trying to pull it into the air. Falling with the other. John Flavin. John Flavin down to young John McGrath. McGrath. Lightning speed by McGrath. Lovely ball by McGrath. Crossed into the halfback. The halfback in question is John Cushion. Will Cushion fight it in then? And then down towards Morris Flavin. Morris Flavin picking it up with Panache and style. And a good ball by Morris. Dropping, dropping, dropping high and dropping over the inline. Dropping wide. Ollie Mackay injured there. Grimacing there in the goals. Holly to drive out this one. Holly to man. <laughs> <laughs> Tightly contested West Final. Ollie Mackay looking down towards Carroll in him, but electing to drive it down to the other wing of the field. Drive it down to the centre. Shane Kelly pulled it in the far side with John Cushion going between and coming to John Flavin. Really well. Flavin is satisfied by Morris Holly. Flavin drive it well, playing well down to Eddie Hogan. Dominant in the early stages. Teddy takes off the sh shackles of Neil Sheehan. Then Eddie Hogan, a dangerous probing ball in, but gone more and against third wide. Yes, costly misses. As the experienced Newcastle men, Monique making most of the impression in the early stages, but failing to translate their superiority into scores. Holly Mackay drive it high down. Willie Hurley and Mike Doody or Morris Holly. The Hurley clash of the ash. Young John McGrath in a penetrating influence. We we'll see typical McGrath run. He's gone 10, 20, 30 yards into John Murphy. John Murphy was half expecting for that. Murphy gets it up then. Heavy tackling Murphy. Fall on Murphy. Great chance for Monique to get the opening score. Four minutes gone exactly in the game. John McGrath, the chance to send Monique's pint over the bar. Spinning, lifting, striking the wide stance and the good score. High in, it's gone over the bar. The first score of the game for Monique. <laughs> Davy Hock, the man who's followed Monique through thick and thin, encouraging his mates as Ali McKay retrieves the ball from the sideline. Ali Mackay 
try to eat a long ball by Mackay into the centre. Mike Doody watching to Betty down. Betty down he does, but coming then to William Kane and William Kane very quick in the break. William Kane down to Morris Cloud. Morris Cloud making evidence, trying to shake off the kicks in the mid lane. A good ball by Morris, but dropping into the edge of the square. Is that a goal coming up? The ball hopping around Perlis the dangerous in the square. Eddie Hogan trying to get in. Eddie Betty from the other edge of the square. But Newcastle West backs under pressure. And to get it then is Pat Hadley. Pat Hadley, but come the man that can read are Mike Lane. Mike Lane driving in, turning defence into attack into the centre again. Mike Doody trying to bat it down, but for, forward there by Morris Holly. Morris Holly trying to find Shane Killy. Tony O'Connor. Tony O'Connor to heavy channel. And then Tony O'Connor, dangerous ball into the edge of the square. John McGrath coming up for it. John McGrath holding it and John McGrath backing. And the, the style of a, a, a ballerina dancer out to young John. And young John flick it down. And then comes in the experience then is Willie Holly. Willie Holly flick it into the centre again. Newcastle West improving the last few minutes. Ball dropping down and batted down there by Mark Kelly. Mark Kelly. Dara Heaven then heavy holding there on the edge of the square. Trying to get up is Jerry McMahon. Dutch failing to get it up and then pulling his cattle in. And so, trying to get the broken ball. Pulling for dear life then. And getting the broken is Jerry McMahon. Is Jerry fouled? And it appears as if he is that it's a free. Yes, oh, nasty hat thing here. <laughs> It's gone in the opening half. John McGrath to poke out this one, poke it right through the centre. Dan O'Connor going up for Dan O'Connor, trying to bat it down, bat it down by Dan O'Connor, then into the centre to Willie Hurley. Willie Hurley into Tomorrow's Hurley. Good combination with the Hurley brothers, well hooked down by Eddie, Eddie Brown. Eddie Brown trying to get out, Eddie battling for dear life. Catalina him pulling it, and then coming Liam Hurley. Liam Hurley get here, then put flick out again, and get here. Then is William Keane. William Keane playing very well. The half back line, well done, blocked down there by Peter Cotton. Peter Cotton, known as City's followers. Had dangerous ball in towards Jerry McMahon between Jerry McMahon and Mark Kelly. Battle between and going out towards Shane Kelly. We see Shane Kelly get the opening score for Newcastle West. A probing ball by Shane and out of the lane gone wide. Low scoring West final closely contested game so far as John McGrath took out this one. John McGrath looking up towards John Hock at the far offside the field. Drive it out towards John Hock. Hock going for it. Hock will try to bat this one down. Pulling in the mid air. The ball is pulled down the side. It comes into the centre. And Shin and Kelly battling for it there. And John Flavin get it. And John Flavin getting on about 20 yards with the ball. Will we see typical Flavin point make his angle getting his score? Beautiful work by Flavin. High and over the bar. <laughs> The first score from play after eight minutes is John Flavin. Get here, breaking ball down from John Hawkins. He need high and he need over the bar. Ollie McKay drive it out. Ollie playing a lot of the centre, trying to get Morris Holly. Morris Holly batting for it with William Keane. The ball breaks between them. Coming to the far side, pulled by Shane Kelly. Coming on by John Custon and the Nippy Custon in half. Linked in the grip and the Holly. Get it up with finesse and style and then turning defence into attack and driving down towards the corner. Down towards Eddie Hogan. Eddie battling for it. Eddie get it. Eddie hassle from behind. Eddie making a break. Eddie gone about 20 yards. Or will he get an opportunist point high by Eddie and good and just gone over the line and gone wide? Neil is she, he kept a tight rein there, and Eddie Hogan. Holly McKay varying his puck out this time, trying to find Willie Holly. Willie Holly and Mike Doody battling for it, a clash between them and coming down to the centre to the other Holly brother, Morris Holly. Morris Holly low ball to Derry McMahon and Mark Kelly coming down to Tony O'Connor battling for it there, coming in there and William Keane nipped up trying to find Eddie. Eddie and then Derry McMahon get it. Derry making angry for himself, hefty challenge and Derry McMahon there and then drive it down towards the end square and battling for it. Then get it there and the free and the free for Newcastle West. Shane Kelly fouled a sense of indiscipline creeping in as Newcastle West get that free. Paul and Shane Kelly. <laughs> Lee Murphy, first chance for Newcastle West to open their account. The Magpies have, two, have no score yet. Just coming up to the tenth minute, three seconds to the tenth minute, will the first Newcastle West score with consummate ease high and over the bar? <laughs> Two points to one, keenly contested game as Matt Kelly there and Derry McMahon get a swig of the water. John McGrath taking his time, getting ready to take this puck out. No, 
John Murphy waiting in the middle, playing deep in its third line position as Willie Hurley and Mike Doody playing in the centre field position. The ball coming down towards John Hock. John Hock battling for it, but down by Lee Murphy. Lee Murphy down into the centre and trying to get it there is Morris Hurley. Morris Hurley battling for it. Mike, Mike Doody coming in. Mike Doody changed direction, trying to find Pat Hurley. Pat Hurley battling for it. Mike McKay. Both guys he bats it down and then batted down by Mike Lane and coming in is an impede. Dan O'Connor and O'Connor driving across into his other half back. The other half back is Pat O'Connor and the O'Connors combined. And then Pat O'Connor trying to find Tony O'Connor. Jerry McMahon coming out for it. Jerry McMahon clicking out into the corner trying to find Shane Kelly very near the line and out over the line line ball from Monique. Dara Heaven to take the line ball for Monique. The scoreboard reads two points for Monique, one point from Newcastle. Low scoring game so far. Dara Heaven cut it very well, trying to find John Murphy. Murphy going for it. Then difficulty in getting it is great work there by Carolyn and Carolyn can get it. Or is it Willie Hurley? Willie Hurley driving into the centre for full flock for the, for the feed down to Jerry McMahon pulled in there by Mark Kelly. Mark Kelly, good work there by Dara Heaven. Dara Heaven pulling in the lower ball down the ground, but then good ball there by Liam Murphy. Liam is fouled and it's a oh, hefty challenge there. Hefty challenge. <laughs> Twelve minutes and forty seconds gone in the opening half. A chance for Lee Murphy to get the second point about sixty metres out from the morning gear. Difficult assignment, but Lee knowing his accuracy high and good and over the bar. Two points each, just one point from play scored so far in that the game, that, that point scored by John Flavin in the eighth minute as John McGrath looking up towards young John McGrath, will he drive the ball towards him, driving the ball into the centre, Mike Doody going for it along with Ma Morris Hurley, but getting in, get his Peter Curtin, Peter Curtin driving the ball forward, trying to find Morris Hurley, Morris Hurley battling with William Keane, Morris Hurley trying to make a dang for himself into uh, Eddie, and then tip there and the foul there and Peter Curtin. I'm trying to tell you, 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 i McGrath taking the free drive behind, trying try to find John John Flavin. Got off Flavin out to John Murphy. John Murphy trying to get it up. Difficulty in getting it up the first time, getting it up the second time. Trying to take on Lee Murphy. John Murphy gone about 10 yards to the left side. The field the ball still going. Green. Being tackled from behind by Shane Kelly. Followed by Shane Kelly. It's in the morning game free. <laughs> Seventeen minutes gone in the first half, but we counted four minutes to stoppage play. A chance for John Hock to give Monique the lead again, drive by John and good by John over the bar. Three points to two, seventeen minutes gone in the opening half. Molly Mackay driving to the far offside of the field, trying to find Shane Kelly, pulled in there by Pao O'Connor, Pao O'Connor down to the centre then, and coming for there is John Flavin, Flavin get, did get a lot of broke ball in the middle of the field, got about 20 yards then, probably across, across to well, Mike Doody, Mike Doody battling for it, along with Willie Hurley, until Mike Doody going for it, and very, very near the side, and off Mike Doody's stick, line ball for Newcastle West. <laughs> Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, yeah.
By Judy got in this one playing to cross for John Murphy, John Murphy locked down by John Dan and John Dan had him pulled in by Willie Hurley, Willie Hurley's in the action, John Dan batting for a long way, young John McGrath, John McGrath and O'Connell batting with John McGrath trying to get up very near the sideline when he was sharply blocked down, John then comes in and O'Connell is the free for Newcastle West. Tight marking Newcastle half back line. John Dunner bending, lifting, striking. Good ball by John Dunner down towards Jerry McMahon. Jerry McMahon and, and Catalin in battle at the edge of the square. And overhead kick by Catalin. Ball coming out to Shane Kelly. Shane Kelly batting with John Cusson. John Cusson trying to get out. Catalin gets pulled down there by William Keane. Mike Doody going for Mike Doody and Peter Cotton. And Mike Doody into a hefty challenge then. And drive it forward then. And drive it forward between John Murphy and John Dunner. Dunner to get down to Dan O'Connor. Oh, hefty challenge on Dan O'Connor. And then it's sticked again by Dan O'Connor. And then. Oh. There by Willie Holly, Willie Holly, driven out by John Hock. John Hock at the end just spots the first goal of the game coming up. At the end just spots up here at the edge of the square. Ali McKay coming up. Oh, whipped by Molly McKay. And Mike Mulcahy gets it. Mulcahy, the strong corner back. Mulcahy half hooked. Back by Eddie Hogan again. Eddie Hogan tries to regroup. And then coming down to the full forward. Eddie Hogan gets hit his second time. Quickly out to John Hock. A John McGrath chance. John McGrath high and John McGrath over the in line wide. Ali McKay pocket out into the centre of the field, battling for it there is Morris Hurley and William Keane coming down into the centre, coming down John Hock, John Hock battling for it and then coming on to Morris Hurley, Morris Hurley get here again, Morris Hurley turning defence into attack, a dangerous ball down to the edge of the square, belted down by Mark Kelly but coming there and a chance for Tony O'Connor, high by O'Connor and good by O'Connor, Tony O'Connor, every three do you get a grim McFall and Cool inch in the Hashlano here getting that point for Newcastle and the teams are level again, three points each. 22 minutes gone in the opening half. Game delicately poised. John McGrath to take the puck out. John McGrath to the foot offside the field. Battling for the other John. John Hock. John Hock pulling it. But coming down to Dan O'Connor. Tony O'Connor battling for it. Tony O'Connor getting it. And Tony O'Connor then flicking it across the sideline trying to find his. Dark power to Tony O'Connor. Tony O'Connor to the centre. Matt Kelly playing well in the full back position. His shot half locked down by Peter Cotton coming out to the centre to Shane Kelly. Shot from Shane Kelly. Speculative shot. Looks good from this angle. High and over the bar. Shane Kelly wearing number 10 the foot offside the field. Indeed, high and indeed over the bar. Newcastle West going to the lead. John Hock Jr. calling from John Hock Sr. The call has heard the ball is coming down and John Hock get it in and John Hock plucked it from midair and then get it and got about 20 yards out being tackled by Dan O'Connor probing low ball and trying to find John Hock and John Hock battling for a tree. Newcastle West backs there and then we're cut back by Power O'Connor. Power O'Connor high ball going for there is Eddie and Eddie trying to get it in but got it in Jerry pulling there by Catalin in and coming out there is Liam Hadley and get it up then is Jerry McMahon. Jerry McMahon shows his great skill as he opens up the game. Is that a goal coming up? Shane Kelly, Shane Kelly. Then in John Cusson battling for it. Shane Kelly get it up. Make, trying to make an angle for himself, but we see the fine speed, we see another point, Cindy the dummy making the angle, and then half locked down by Dara Heaven, Dara Heaven, take close to you, and Shackle and Harry Heaven pulls, but out then, there comes, is Tony O'Connor, Tony O'Connor making an angle for himself, then Tony O'Connor can pass two men, three men, and take a challenge and foul, and it's the Newcastle West free. Tony O'Connor and Shane Kelly there, causing a lot of trouble for the Newcastle, Money Gay defence in the far side of the field. Another chance for Lee Murphy to drive this one over the bar as Davy O'Key points to the exact spot where the offence was committed. You are 
Liam Bending lifting, striking and send it high and send it over the bar. Five points to three. 24 minutes gone in the opening half. John McGrath probing ball by John McGrath, trying to find John Hock and John Cavan. Better down then by Liam Murphy. Liam Murphy getting down to, to Cynthia Fowler. Cynthia Fowler is Morris Holly. Morris Holly driving in this little clever ball into Peter Cotton. Peter Cotton battling for it. Peter Cotton high and Peter Cotton good and Peter Cotton just over the inline and wide. Newcastle West coming in top in the last few minutes. Morning Gay's early dominance is gone at the moment, but then again, there's just two points between the teams. Pat Herley looking eagerly for this ball. Will the ball come down towards Pat Herley? Queen to the centre of the field. Battling there by William Keane and Morris Hurley. Then pulled on there by Willie Hurley. Willie Hurley, dangerous ball. Is there a go? Great. What there by Peter Cotton making an for himself. A dangerous ball there. McGrath puts up the hand and McGrath saves. And then McGrath turns the defence into attack as he tries to find John Hock. John Hock battling with Power Connor. Power Connor cleverly batting down into John Favin. John Favin then being hassled by Liam Murphy. Being hassled by Willie Hurley. But how McGrath gets the heart into John Murphy. And John Murphy making an angle for himself. Will he drive this one around the edge of the square? No, a low ball stays. Trying to find. Coming out in is Mike Sheehy and Mike Sheehy get it. And Neela Sheehy, Neela Sheehy drive it down the wing, done over the far side. Neela Sheehy be a great battle there with Eddie Hogan, the Money Gay captain. John Flevin making an angle for himself. Not Kiki, not that well. And then coming down to Power O'Connor. Power, what is it? Liam Murphy. Liam Murphy, Kiki, forward, showing that his football as well. Morris Holly get it then. And again, Tony O'Connor, great skill by Tony O'Connor as he makes an angle for himself. Tony will try to fight this one into the corner into Catalin. And great work by Catalin. This is majesty. It will be a pint, it will be a great pint, but unfortunately he's gone over the line and wide. Getting the ball, the ball up in the stick, and then just in, the end product not so good. And father, the man that wrote the, news, wrote the newspaper, Charlie Linehan, was synonymous with politics and independence in Kerry, synonymous with the writing of his own paper. And Castle Island was a legend in his own lifetime. And George Daly remembers meeting Charlie when, when he was a young boy, and Charlie smoking the pipe as the bar coming down. And Charlie's puddings were known all over Ireland. Pulled down by Jock the Dan Danaher. And Jock Danaher had drive it down, opening up the Derry McMahon battling for it with Liam Hadley. Did McMahon winning the battle? Don't Liam Hadley standing ground. Liam Hadley there trying to get out and coming get trying to get there is Peter Cotton. Peter Cotton there getting difficulty in getting up. Hassling behind by Liam Hadley. Peter Cotton about 20 yards of the ball into hefty challenge. Then flicking it across to Derry McMahon. Derry McMahon being got there by William Keane. Derry McMahon tries to get William Keane trying to get a foul there and it's a free for Newcastle West. These frees could be costly before the evening is out. Twenty-seven minutes. Jack Egan is looking a happier man now than he was in the early stages of the game. As Liam Murphy trying to get this point and will give Newcastle West a three-point advantage. Well in with Liam's reach. Concentration personified. As Liam bending, lifting, striking, and sending it high and sending it over the bar. Gay badly wanting a goal. Newcastle West trying to consolidate their position as John McGrath retrieves the ball to from behind the goal mount. Not any great hardly pocket out the ball. McGrath for offside the field trying to find John Flavin and John Hock. Flavin going up for it along with Lee Murphy. Lee Murphy betty down. Lee Murphy get it in. Runs into John. Lee Murphy's team to foul his opposite number and it's a free for. But a foul, Lee Murphy, free for New Castle West. Lots of fouling creeping into the game the last few minutes.
John Dan had to take this one from his own 65. Could a dangerous probing ball could weave a goal coming up. Dropping, 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 dropping in and dropping. Picked out there by Tara Heaven out to, to find towards Eddie Brown, Eddie Brown. Oh, hefty challenge there. And trying to get there is Catalin Hinn. Catalin Hinn then battling again for it. And then going very, very near the sideline, trying to be got there by Maris Holly. Maris Holly still with the ball. Willie Hodley's great man to cut a ball. This proves no exception. Dangerous ball for offside the field, trying to get it, but can't over the inline gun white. Come on, lads, keep it more, friend. Come on. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, 30 minutes gone, as we said, there was four minutes extra to be played due to the stoppage, and we're into those four minutes of extra time in the opening half, driven out by John McGrath. What'll happen? All the scores came in injury time behind in turn the following these teams went last, and it's a free for Monique. <laughs> Chop there, and John Flavin to be taken by John Huck. John Hock, an easy enough free to narrow the deficit to two points. Hock high and Hock good and Hock over the bar. Six points to four. The ball is retrieved from behind the goal mount as Ali McKay gets a different hurley to puck out the ball. The crowd enjoying every minute of this enthralling encounter. Stalemate at the moment. No team getting a monopoly of the situation as Monique coming back again. Ali McKay driving it high into the centre, pulling it there as Dee Murphy, Lee Murphy, and John Flavin. The ball breaking down between and towards Morris Holly, Morris Holly backing for it. Coming back into John Flavin. John Flavin making it on the tip of John Flavin bus. Got about 20, 30 yards out and trying to find the other John, the other John McGrath. John McGrath then trying to take on Dan O'Connor. Then John McGrath with the ball. Ball goes to see up along the sideline. Being hassled by Dan O'Connor. Then, then being hassled the ball very near the sideline. Dan O'Connor keep in play and then they come to Willie Holly. Willie then Willie Holly into the challenge then and Willie making it home for himself and drive it high into the centre then battling for it is Shane Kelly, Shane Kelly and John Cousin. Two lovely stick off by Cousin the feet quick to quick in Cousin into John Tavin and Tavin trying a long distance point. If it's a point, it's a mighty point. It's going, it's gone, it's over the bar. Into the county sir, John Flavin showing his what as the quick thinking John Cousin plays the ball with a, a pass and just one point separate the teams. Ball driven out by Ali McKay. Ali McKay's ball. William Keane waiting for the breaking ball. Ball coming down to William Keane, but in Queen. Then it's Catalin. Catalin and Ryan stand away, trying to find Peter Cotton. Peter Cotton battling for it there along with Mark Kelly. Peter Cotton getting up, will play it outside. A pair's has shot blocked down by Mark Kelly. Then Peter Cotton trying to get it the second time. And then being harassed by Liam Hadley. And Peter Cotton making an for himself, changing the grip of the Hoddick. Traffic crossed in. A well read there by William Keane. William Keane shot his half blocked down to the dangerous Shane Kelly. Shane Kelly high and Shane Kelly over the bar. The nippy, crafty, extremely talented Shane Kelly. Over the bar. Son of Mikey Kelly, and the scoreboard reads seven points to five. And as I said, you know, Tordna Fuller, most of the scores came in the injury time in the first half. It's the same here in, in Ballingarry as three points coming in injury time in the first half. John McGrath waiting for the ball to be retrieved from behind the goal mount. The ball is retrieved just about. A minute of actual playing time, three minutes of injury time gone the first half, but it was about four minutes of stoppage time. Davy O'Keefe calls it to Hall as the scoreboard reads seven points for Newcastle West, five points for Monique. An exciting first half. <laughs> 